Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session, we'll see what is the difference between deallocated versus stop status within Azure Virtual Machine. Recently, I was having a discussion with a customer and he told me that even though he had switched off the machine, he's still getting billed for the compute charges. Now, before I further elaborate on this customer scenario, let's try to understand first how you get charged for an Azure VM when you do the deployment. So let's say I go inside the Azure portal and uh, deploy a specific series of virtual machine. And when I do that, a CPU, RAM, storage, and a public IP, if you have deployed, will be attached to that specific series of machine. And each of these component has its own cost. And let's say you have deployed this machine with the server operating system 2019. Now, even if I go and switch off this machine in a proper way, which I'm going to show you in a moment, you'll be still get billed for the storage because uh, Microsoft still has to carve out any data that you have stored still needs to be uh, saved somewhere. So you'll be still getting billed for that particular machine, even though you have deallocated that particular machine. But in this customer scenario, he told me that he has switched off the machine, but he's still getting charged for the CPU, RAM, and even public IP. So let's say I have this another machine, right? And again, all the parameter will be same. Now, there are two ways of uh, switching off this machine. And if you want to make sure that you don't get billed for the compute charges, what this customer did was he went inside the machine. It means he went inside the server operating system and he shut down the machine from there. Now, if you do that, you'll be still getting billed for CPU, RAM, storage, anyhow, and public IP. What you need to do is you need to go in the Azure portal and you have to stop the machine from there. That's the right way of uh, deallocating the machine. And you will see the status when you do the right way uh, on, on the Azure portal. But if you go inside the machine and you switch it off from there, you'll be still getting billed for all these different resources because as you know that in Azure, every component, there's a cost associated with that. So let me show you on the Azure portal. So these are some of the machines that I have and you can see that the status, some of them they're running and some of them they are in stopped and deallocated state. Let me just go and expand my first machine, which is an AD server. And you can see that uh, my start button is right now not visible because it's in running state right now. The only option I got is stop. And you can see that there's a public IP which is attached to it. Uh, there is storage attached to it. And as I said that, even if you deallocate the machine in a right way, you'll be still getting charged for the storages, right? But my start button is invisible. And if I go inside my RDP session, uh, so I've already initiated the RDP session over here, you can see that uh, this is the AD server that I'm here talking about, right? And uh, if I can go inside the file explorer, You can see that I have a C drive and I have a temporary storage, which is a D drive. That's now another thing that I want to point out here. If you switch off your machine, either way, whether you're doing that from the portal or from right from the machine uh, inside the server, any data that you have on this temporary storage will be purged. So it is highly recommended that you don't store any data. So actually it's uh, Microsoft gives you a warning here that you have a data loss warning. And uh, it mentions here that if you restart the machine or reboot the machine, any data which is there on this temporary storage will be gone, right? So something to point out because I've also seen some customer think that this storage is persistent and they keep uh, some data over here. And in case they reboot the machine, they will uh, lose that data. But any other data that you have, say for example, if I store anything on my C drive or if I have any other storage or data disk attached to that, 
any data which I have on this machine won't be lost even if I reboot, stop, deallocate the machine. That's the that's a good thing that uh, Azure provides you. So your data will be still intact, but it doesn't remove the need of uh, backing up your uh, backing up your storage or server. That's uh, something that you need to do anyhow, right? But let's see. I'm on this AD server, and if I go and uh, switch off the machine from here so i'm going to shut down and it's asking me that uh, uh, choose a reason but i'm just going to say continue so let's say this machine is getting shut down now this is not the right way of uh, shutting down the machine the reason being that as i said that every component in azure there's a cost associated so even if i have shut down the machine from the server you can see that uh, the machine is still under the running status there is still a public IP which has been assigned to this. I can always, obviously, uh, right now it's in dynamic state. I can always change it to the static. So it means that even if I reboot the machine or start the machine, I will get the same public IP. But the point I want to make here is that in this customer scenario, he went inside that server. So let me go back to the... So he went inside that server and he shut down the machine from there which is not the right way because you'll be still getting bill for your CPU, RAM, storage, and public IP. What he would have done is that he should have gone inside the portal and uh, shut down the machine from there. And let me actually show you for the other machine. So I'm going to go to the file server here, right? And here, if I go and click on the stop button and click on OK, this is the right way of shutting down the machine. Now, this will make sure that you don't get charged for any compute. And you'll see that in a moment, the public IP which has been assigned to this, right, uh, will be will be gone from here. And if I have picked a static IP, when I reboot this machine, I'll get the same public IP. But this is the right way of deallocating the machine. So if I go back to my virtual machine, you can see that AD server is still in, is in running status. But my file server, in a moment, it will show me in a deallocated state, which should be the right way of, uh, you can see the state is changing to deallocating. And in a moment, it will go and uh, move to stop deallocated. And this will make sure that I don't get charged for any compute cost. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.